welcome to another series of learning at the Stella Way. Remember, I am here to help you be able to design, create and launch your online course so that you can further help your clients. Today, we are going to look into the mistake of creating a online course that you think your clients want. So let's jump in and have a look at why this is a mistake. So let's go back to that time when you had a brilliant course idea and you spent your time being able to design all of the content that you can then deliver. You were so excited about this course idea that you jumped straight into the course design. If you have watched the other videos on our channel, you would see why this is also a mistake. So go and check them out as well. But I want to discuss that going through this and designing a course that we think our clients want what we're doing is we're drawing on our experiences. We're drawing on what we've been through and what we think our clients are also going through. And when we build all of this content, we may find that we've wasted all of that time by not speaking to our clients and designing something that, that they don't want. So I'm not saying by any means that your course idea is invalid if you don't speak to clients, but it is a large issue that you design a course that you think they want and then when you go to sell you realize that there's no alignment between what they want and what you've designed so what i recommend is going and speaking to them go on to zoom sessions go and have a look at all of the different content that you see on social media all of the conversations that you see these might be conversations with other people but it's still an opportunity for you to listen to what your ideal clients want, what they're currently struggling with, what their challenges are, what they need help with. All of these will help you to be able to create an online course that is aligned to what your clients want and not what you think that they want. And the real mistake here, the large issue, is that if you do design something that you think they want and it's out of alignment, you can risk wasting all of that time to then not be able to sell any of your courses. So let's have a look at some four questions I recommend that you ask your ideal client. You can ask these four questions in any way you want. So feel free to reword them. But this is the general idea of questions that you should be asking. So first of all, what are your struggles? You may be direct or you can be a little bit more indirect, but you want to understand what your ideal client is currently struggling with, what they have challenges with. You might also find this information just by chatting to them. What bothers you the most? What do you feel waste your time the most? Where do you see that you can make some changes? All of these types of questions will help you to ascertain what your ideal client is currently struggling with. Question two, ask them what they need help with. This could also help you to support your previous question. A lot of us might not know what we're struggling with at this stage. A lot of us might know that we need some help in some areas. And from asking this question, you might ascertain some struggles that the interviewee, let's call them your ideal client, was not able to articulate. Question three, what are you trying to achieve? So asking them what they want to be achieving in their business, what their overall goal is in regards to their tasks might help you to identify if there are some areas that they could work on. For example, if you have a client that's trying to create an online course, you can have an idea of what are all the steps involved? What do they want from this online course? Do they want a thousand sales? Do they want five? Do they want a course that goes for an hour? Do they want a course that goes for 10 hours? Starting to understand all of these areas that they want to achieve will help you to understand how your course can support them in achieving this goal. And finally, the fourth question is what support are you after? You may find that the ideal clients you're speaking to actually do not want to do a course. They want more one-on-one -on -one help. So you might find that while your course idea is valid, the way that you format it may be completely different. And maybe you don't have large groups, but rather smaller intimate groups. 
So asking these four questions will help you to be able to validate your course idea and in turn will stop you from making the mistake of creating a course that you think your clients want. That is all for today's series of learning at the Stella Way. I hope you are able to gain some information from this session and I hope that you won't make that mistake of going in and designing content that you think your clients want but rather you are able to validate your idea and create courses that you know that they want after research so that you can then sell your course. If you would like further information on course creation, head on over to the Facebook group where we have free training weekly and the link is in the bio on top of many other free downloads that you can have access to. That's all for today. Bye for now.